Hey guys, Falco here. Welcome back to the Tarkov Quest Guide series. In this video, we're covering the shortage quest from Therapist. This quest requires you to find and turn in five Slewa first aid kits. The only stipulation here is that these kits gotta be found in raid. Now, you can easily find Slewas in raid and they don't even have to be full usage points to turn them in. So you can use them and then turn them in with like, you know, one point left in them. But if you're not very lucky and you don't have all five at the time that you get to the quest, there are a few things that you can do to speed up that process. The first thing I want to point out is that the Tarkov Wiki mentions that the barter for the paid anti-roach will fulfill the found and raid requirements. Now, I personally haven't tested whether bartered items are considered found in raid, but if you're there and you've got some anti-roach, it's worth giving it a shot. Secondly, all items that you craft in the hideout are considered found in raid. And you only need a med station level 1 to craft Slaywas, so it's super helpful for this quest if you're stuck. The main caveat to this is that you need a running generator in order to be able to craft anything in your hideout, and that requires a security level 1 as well as finding some fuel to actually put in your generator. That can be a significant investment just for completing one beginning quest, but fuel can be easily found on a few different maps. On Interchange, there's a lot of fuel tanks that are inside of Ollie, just all around the shelves. On Customs, you can find fuel lying around in Warehouse 2. On Reserve, they're laying around the K buildings a lot and in the garage area next to White Knight. And there's also a few spawns on the tanks next to the uh, King building. If you're not up for investing in your hideout just yet and you'd prefer just to find them in Raid, they do spawn throughout all of the maps and you can easily find them if you know where to look. On Customs, there's a few places. Uh, there are two cars on the map that spawn meds in their trunks. One is in the storage area on the big red warehouse side of the map. Another one's directly beneath the guard tower inside the jacket of the trunk of the car. The ambulance in front of the gas station also spawns medical items in the back of it, so that's worth giving a check. And lastly, there's a medical box in one of the blue sheds near the big red warehouse. On Interchange, Manus has a tons of meds throughout it, but it's a very hot spot on the map, so I'd recommend getting in and getting out quickly if you go there. If you have the key to the Amercom room, lots of meds spawn there as well, so you're very likely to find a Slay one there. There's also a few ambulances on the map that can spawn Slaywas, and they're on the west side of the map. On Reserve, there are a lot of places to find meds. I won't mention them all, but I do recommend checking out the White Bishop building. It always has tons of meds when I go there, and it's often overlooked because the loot there isn't as good as other places on the map. Shoreline has a lot of rooms that spawn med bags at the resort. I would refer to the wiki for a map showing the medical spawns as there's way too many to list in this video. The problem is that the resort's a very high traffic area and making it out of the raid with your items can be hard. Especially because they just changed it to where if you die with an item in your Gamma or Alpha container, it loses its found in raid status, so you can't just pocket things and use them for your quests anymore. Because of this, I'd say to try and maybe check out the Scav Island near the Tunnel Extract. There's two med bags in the shed on the right hand side of the island, and there's an ambulance near the tunnel that you can check for meds. If at first you're not finding the Slaywas you need, I really wouldn't sweat it. Just focus on completing the task-oriented quests and picking up as many quest items as possible as you can go. You'll eventually find the items you need, and even if it takes you a while for one task, you'll probably already have the items you'll need for the other quests lined up and ready to go. Me personally, I had already found a few Slaywas for completing debut, and I don't mind upgrading my hideout early because I know it can make you a lot of money over time. I was also lucky enough to stumble across a fuel container in Warehouse 2 on Customs, so I just cranked out my last two Slaywas over the course of two raids. It felt pretty efficient because I could just do other quests without actively looking for Slaywas. But anywho, I'm Falco Caliber, and that's Shortage.